In this video, we're gonna recap on ordinary least squares um, as quick as possible. So, recall that the objective here was to find the hyperplane that's gonna make the sum of the squares of all of these offsets as low as possible. And notice that we're gonna be taking the square at each of them. So, we're gonna go at our first data point, take the square from um, let's say a random hyperplane and then the next data point and so on till we go over all of them then we're gonna find the sum of all of these squares and then we're gonna ask ourselves how should we make the hyperplane in order to have this sum as low as possible so in mathematical terms we're having a sum from i equals 1 to m where m is the length of your data set can also call that the number of your examples and that sum is going to be of yi yi is the point itself minus the hyperplanes prediction so the hyperplanes prediction is going to be theta naught plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 all the way to theta n xn and then don't forget that you're going to square this at each instance so you gotta put a square right here so this is gonna be your cost function or the function that you're gonna try to minimize so um, let us first try to make this more beautiful so here we're having theta naught plus theta 1x1 plus theta 2x2 notice that if we stop here that's gonna be just a straight line here it's a plane and if we go for any more we just call it a hyperplane okay so um, we can try to make this more beautiful by defining a column vector of thetas. So that's going to be theta, and it's going to have theta naught, theta 1, all the way to theta n, and then also a column vector for x. That's going to start with 1, then x1, then x2, all the way to xn. So 1, um, x1, x2, all the way to xn sorry and then once we do this we can instead here write down theta transpose x and if you try to compute this using matrix multiplication we're going to go back to this so we can write down the cost function here as j equals from i equals 1 to m of yi minus theta transpose xi squared so what we're going to try to do in the next video is minimize this multivariable function. You have your data set known. What's unknown is your thetas. And your goal is to find the best set of thetas that makes the sum as low as possible. So what we have to do is take the partial derivative of j with respect to theta. And then equate that to zero and see what do we come up with. And to do this, we're going to need some of the matrix calculus from the previous videos and also um, one or two more identities that I'm going to go over right now. So the first one is if you're differentiating a constant vector with respect to um, another vector x, then that's just going to give you a zero vector. And if you're differentiating a vector x with respect to itself, then you get the identity matrix. And this means also if you have your vector x multiplied by a constant matrix A, then you instead get I but multiplied by A, so you get A. Okay, so this is all we need, plus um, one identity from the differentiation of scalars with respect to vectors video. Because you see here, all cost functions are usually scalars and we're differentiating that scalar with respect to a vector, okay? So we're gonna do this in the next video, so see you there, and goodbye.